Hi friends, in a discussion I committed today that I will be uh, sharing uh, one MS Excel file which I keep using for making my chart. Uh, this is this contains uh, uh, the companies which are meeting the 12 fundamentals which I keep talking about. PE greater than zero, EPS greater than zero, sales sometimes it happens like uh, uh, some of the companies will not have any sales but uh, the results will be, I mean share will be available for trading. I don't uh, consider them for any investment or uh, I don't do trading even in such uh, in none of the cases I consider them for an investment purpose. So sales quarter greater than zero then sales growth year on year basis it should have more than zero that means the company is able to sell more and more products then net profit uh, none of the companies which is making a quarterly result uh, net profit is less than zero I mean uh, negative result I don't consider for investment so net profit greater than zero then year on year basis net profit growth greater than minus 10 percent some of the cases sometimes due to uh, business uh, uncertainties or uh, sometimes maybe for uh, improvement in the uh, business also sometimes they consider for selling uh, i mean uh, uh, i mean uh, their uh, net profit may not be uh, more uh, more so i consider up to minus 10 percent current ratio current liability by current asset greater than one uh, that is asset is more than liability then i consider promoter uh, pledging less than 10 percent and unpledged promoter holding more than 30 percent change in promoter holding greater than or equal to zero that means that means the promoter is not selling and if even if there's i mean any change is there it is positive so they have bought shares on the market then roc greater than 10 return on capital employed then debt equity ratio zero to one many of the companies which are in the financial sector may not come in that because uh, uh, the ticket ratio will be more. So this is the chart which I uh, consider and here there is a candlestick chart then this is the delivery turnover. Delivery turnover means average delivery quantity I mean delivery quantity into average price of that share. This is BSE plus NSE data. Okay. Now here there are two indicators. One is delivery percentage and its average in the same color brownish color. The scale is on the left side. Uh, so we can uh, see whether it is above average delivery or below average delivery. So this is what I keep uh, searching and keep uh, talking to you about all these things. And the average trade worth. Average trade worth is nothing but turnover divided by number of trades. So if uh, I consider for uh, uh, pick uh, or uh, my screening is based on delivery turnover is um, uh, there is an imp improvement in the delivery turnover there is an improvement in the delivery percentage like this if you consider from here to here it is considered uh, in my pick then if, when it comes down i don't uh, consider it but the prices move move on so this is the what i from my analysis analytic point of view this is the time when the share is accumulated and uh, this is the time when uh, this is average trade worth is that you know on an average of how much uh, uh, for single trade how much money is spent like this here if you see there was an accumulation may sometimes it can be a bulk block deal <laughs> if it is not a bulk block deal it, uh, i consider it as uh, most appropriate because it's a hidden trade and here uh, this is uh, only normal lines uh, you can drag and drop uh, by which you can understand what is the resistance or the green line is for support okay so normally uh, two support and resistance i keep checking one is that uh, first entry point second is this point say for example i'll uh, show one uh, other thing okay uh, okay here there is improvement in uh, delivery percentage above average delivery for few days and uh, above average uh, average trade order this is the amount that which delivery has happened okay now what i'll do is this is one support which i feel can be if it breaks normally it comes down like this okay? something somewhere around this so if or else you can even stretch up to this so uh, can you see uh, is touching there okay say same way resistance is here okay if it breaks there is a possibility that it will come to this line so you can shift to these lines and you can understand that what is the probable uh, resistance and support okay these all are the things which i am sharing it here now i'll uh, tell about the parts of this video this entire workbook will be shared in my uh, telegram channel uh, one is data hunter otherwise data hunter interaction interactive tool. so this is a data collected uh, taken from my uh, 
MS Access database. Uh, this is something uh, of a pivot uh, thing and the chart is made out of that. So you can click on the company. These all companies meet my 12 fundamentals which I have described in the beginning and you can uh, select any of those and shift the uh, support and resistance by which you can understand and you can have a look whether this is in the uh, is it, uh, whether it is in, uh, in the above average okay like uh, here so many days it is above average but the price is not moving or else uh, many of the share uh, shares which, uh, the, which I shared last day in uh, telegram channel you can look into that also so there you will come to know that okay there is uh, the reason why I have uh, and any uh, waste handling uh, see the, uh, the delivery percentage is quite good average trade worth may be a silent one I mean uh, slow small quantities will be accumulated over a period of time then only the uh, distribution phase chart starts what I read from the uh, data okay uh, so any of these companies you can select it okay this is BSE plus NSE data which meets the uh, total fundamental condition the data is from 1st February 2021 and uh, uh, so one more thing I have to say is that some of the times the chart may not may have a very big gap it means that on that particular date the uh, company issued bonus or uh, split was done and uh, some of the charts may have only limited uh, dates uh, say, for, say for example uh, this one it is not coming up to the last date even a smaller one may be there so you may have a confusion of why it is because the data is available for that many days only like this okay so you can go through this and the fundamental basic fundamentals are available on this uh, in the uh, worksheet itself this is shared for your future use also you can uh, create such charts by draw uh, fetching uh, your uh, database if you are creating a database you can fetch into this column uh, in, in the same order uh, if you know about excel you can very well do that okay uh, so if these columns are made like this and uh, definitely you will be able to fetch it and make uh, your own chart like this so it is for those people who are interested to learn about it and kindly it is my request that please don't try in a mobile and the, uh, this one uh, uh, will be uh, useful only if you try with a, a PC. Thanks so much.